Hi guys, today on Divas Can Cook, we are making apple fritter donut bites, one of my favorite state fair foods, and it's so easy to make. Let's go. All right, we're gonna start by adding our flour into a large bowl. We're gonna add in a little bit of baking powder. Then we're gonna throw in lots and lots of cinnamon, yum. Then I have some brown sugar and some white sugar. We're gonna mix this up really well. Be sure to break up all that brown sugar. Just whisk it around. Then we're gonna make this little center, I mean this little well in the center of our bowl. We're gonna throw in our wet ingredients, okay? Very simple ingredients here. We're gonna add in a little bit of milk. Then we're gonna throw in some good old melted butter. We're gonna add in our slightly beaten egg, okay? And then we're gonna throw in some vanilla extract to give it pretty good flavor here. We're gonna mix this up just until it's combined. Do not over stir, okay? Do not over stir just until that flour is combined all right and that looks fabulous you want to have some lumps lumps is good with this batter all right now it's time for our apples i'm using a granny smith apple and a gala apple we're going to peel these up and we're going to dice these into little teeny tiny pieces i like to use tiny pieces you can also um shred the apples if you like to then we're going to take our apples and just place them into our batter and gently fold them into the batter until it's well combined Okay, so now my oil is hot and red tie. It is ready to go. I have it at about 350. You wanna just scoop out that fritter batter using a mini ice cream scoop and just pop it right into the hot oil. We're gonna cook it up for about, I don't know, maybe like one to two minutes per side. And then go ahead and flip it over. You want it to be deep, dark, golden brown. Not a light brown, like a dark golden brown. And when it's done, go ahead and lift it from the oil and then place it on a um, plate lined with some paper towels and let it drain a little bit. Now we're gonna make a really super simple glaze because apple fritters have to have glaze. So we're gonna add a little bit of milk to some powdered sugar, a drop of vanilla or so, and just kind of mix it around till it's smooth and silky and luscious like this right here. You can also add a bit of um, cinnamon if you want to, that'd be good, but I didn't do that. My voice is like, I'm sorry, my voice is like crazy. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's like real scratchy lately. Anyway, go ahead and throw your little apple fritter into your glaze. Make sure it's completely covered lift it up and let the excess drip off and then go ahead and place it on a cooling rack until the glaze has hardened up and go ahead and repeat it with the rest of the apple fritter bites and then you are done these things are amaze balls they are so good look at y'all okay mm. Here's the inside of them. They're nice and moist and fluffy and just amazing. Don't forget you can find this recipe on my blog at divascancook.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Later.